Thank you so much. Oh. Oh, I'm starting to feel it. Feel what? Caffeine, eh? Everything. Same, eh? Walking up those stairs and ignited it. Is anyone airport here, eh? I think so. Yeah. They had to be the sweetest crowd of vegans that I've ever talked to at the, at the end of a speech. They're all so lovely. Gone to Sylvania. There's a fire inside your heart. Let it light up the world. Light up the world. Okay. Here we are in Slovenia. I believe this is the last vigil we will attend for the whole tour. So, feels good to be at the end of such a really big, powerful, exhausting tour. But it doesn't feel so good to be out the front of another one of these hell holes. And there they are advertising meat on a sign without the animal's face as per usual. And we have a bunch of activists uh, showing some signs to some motorists as they drive past. But let's go see if we can bear witness to some animals. so fast why well, so fast yeah they are not even slowing down they drive so fast so dangerous like what what like what's the point in that like desperately trying not to let the activists see the animals should get the reporters trying to get the, the animals Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's the juicy part. Oh yeah, at least uh, if they get in trouble, yeah, it's not on you guys. It's <laughs> not the safe yeah, movement's fault. <laughs> Animals? Huh? Do you eat animals? <laughs> You're vegetarian. Not vegan, but vegetarian. You know these the cows from the dairy industry come here to be slaughtered when they can't produce milk anymore. I know that's why I'm here. I'm yeah. doing for national television. You know what a vegan? We'll do an interview. Yeah, we should. Do you yes, know what a vegan you know? is? Yes. No it's animal a products. Philosophy. <laughs> it's a Mor vegan. moral moral principle against the harm of animals. I yeah. Know. <laughs> we'll get her off the dairy by the time she leaves. She'll be a vegan. So, <laughs> she's probably she's probably veg a vegetarian for ethics. Some people do that. They just yeah. vegetarian for ethics. She knows that veganism is a philosophy, though, which is good. Ethics. An ethical principle, not a diet. She's been watching the stuff, right? Okay. So, uh, three weeks tour, how would you say, uh, did you, uh, how, how is the situation with the activism here in Slovenia, if you uh, look with the other countries? Uh, I've only just arrived, but we have 30 people at the front of this slaughterhouse, which is very good numbers. Uh, I've seen all over Europe um, a big rise in animal rights activism, which indicates the change in consciousness of society against the exploitation of animals. Some of the uh, vegans, they say maybe street activism is a bit too violent. What would you say? Uh, street activism is violent. I would say that eating animal products is the most violent behavior on earth. When you pay for animal products and you consume those animal products, you destine animals to one of the most violent places on the planet, a slaughterhouse. 
So let me finish. Vegan activists are trying to stop the violence. Okay, that's what vegan activism is. Uh, what would you say to all these that say uh, uh, human uh, being, uh, it's normal that we eat everything? It's normal. I would say take you and your family inside of the kill floor where they shoot cows in the head and slash their throat open and their blood leaks on the floor. And you tell me if your children and your family think that that's normal and if that makes them hungry. Uh, you're famous about uh, because of your direct uh, answers. Yeah. Uh, about um, violence, uh, about slavery. Yeah. Can you explain me that kind of terms? Slavery, animals are not free. They are used, they are viewed as products. They are not viewed as sentient beings, like human beings have the right of freedom. Animals are not free, okay? They are chopped up into pieces and sold as products and fed to people. They, don't, they do not have liberty. They are slaves, essentially. Okay. Is there uh, any specific kind of message that you would like to say to Slovenians? And I didn't know yeah. how to ask you. Okay, so I would ask the people of Slovenia that to look inside their heart, if they believe that animal cruelty, animal violence is wrong, when they purchase animal products, they are contributing to violence towards animals, okay? And I believe they're good people in their heart, and good people don't do bad things, but when you purchase these products, you are contributing to something that is very violent and very unnecessary. So you think uh, this kind of activism makes a difference? Like this activism around, here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this standing at the front of slaughterhouses, people say, what's that going to do just standing there with a sign? But we have phones, we show images of the animals that go in here. Mm -hmm. Now, these, we share these images all over social media. Now, every single viral video I have ever made, nearly, has come from me being at the front of the slaughterhouse. Okay, whether it's the baits, whether it's that blue tractor farmer video that got over a million views. My most viewed video I've ever made, 6.7 million views, responsible for kicking off the media campaigning in the UK, happened with Scotland Animal Safe at the front of a slaughterhouse, me talking to two police officers. People see the faces of the animals that they will be eating. They make the connection from animal to the flesh. Okay, yeah, this is powerful to change yeah, because people. industry in the shop, you, you see just a piece of meat. It's like Plastic. far away from the animal. Yeah. Very detached. And mm -hmm. most people haven't seen a slaughterhouse, inside a slaughterhouse. I was on the kill you floor. You go inside. I, I, do, I was there. Uh, shooting there. I'll show you. Let me show you where I was yesterday morning. People have an idea in their mind about what they think happens inside of a slaughterhouse, don't they? They think they know. No, they don't. You don't know what happens inside a slaughterhouse until we show you. I don't know where they get this idea in their mind. They think that they fall asleep on a pillow and wake up magically wrapped in plastic and nothing bad happens along the way. They think something humane actually happens along the way, which is crazy when you think about it. But there's nothing more powerful than showing the struggle, the fear, the blood that the animals choke on before they die. That stays with people for life. Once they see that, they cannot unsee it. They never look at the flesh on their plate the same again. Powerful stuff. Okay, so this here is me uh, in Austria on a slaughterhouse kill floor where they're killing pigs. They're being stabbed in the throat and drained of their blood. Okay, and there's a river of blood flowing from these animals. Blood splattering all up on, and the animals still kicking some of them. People eat from these places. This is hell for animals. Put humans in place of the animals, what would you call this? They're still alive, no? Not for long, but... Yeah, but it's, they're dying slowly. I mean, it's just... It's a real... Look at this, corpses. People eat out of these murder factories. You know, and I think that people are so disconnected from the process. If they saw the process, would they still be hungry for flesh? I don't know. I really don't know. Humane slaughter is a complete, um, the words do not match, do they? Humane and slaughter. Murder can never be humane. Yeah. So that's a, Bobby calves um, are all killed in the dairy industry because the male animals do not produce milk, so they're useless, they're a waste product. 
So they're sometimes killed on their first day of life, sometimes with a hammer, and they're thrown in a bin. Or they can be grown for veal, which is baby cow flesh, for, for dairy, so we can drink milk that is meant for baby cows, not for humans. We have plant milk, you know, soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, cashew milk, so many different milks that don't involve violence. And when um, the, the mothers can't produce milk anymore, they get minced up into hamburgers. So their bodies have been used, exploited their whole life. They've had children taken off them every year and they go to a slaughterhouse like this to get turned into flesh. So this is why we, we say to people like veganism encompasses all animal products, not just meat. That is one aspect of the violence, but dairy products, cheese, eggs, um, skin, all of these products involve slaughterhouses and animals being harmed. So yeah. <laughs> thank you. She's, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, she's actually a vegetarian, which is why we're talking a lot about the dairy industry to her. I hope she makes a connection and goes vegan after today. So she's going to follow us around all day. We'll keep chipping away at her and hopefully she's buying soy milk by the end of this. Veganism is where you realize that you've been causing an immense amount of unnecessary suffering and harm with your choices and you've stopped. Okay. It doesn't take Mother Teresa to realize they've been causing harm to the innocent and now they've stopped. It's a neutral position, okay? And we all know that quote, if you are neutral in times of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. Give you an example, you're walking down the street, you see someone abusing their spouse, domestic violence, really bad abuse, okay? You see that. Or you might see someone kicking their dog to death, cigarette burns on their face, kicking a small dog. Or you might see someone about to kidnap a small child. Now you witnessed these atrocities. You didn't say nothing. What would society say to you? You could have done something, yeah? You could have said something. You don't have to get yourself hurt. You could have called someone, thrown something, did something to intervene. Why is that any different for farmed animals? It shouldn't be. If it were you in the animal's position, would you want someone to help you? That's what I, th I want someone to help me. Would you want me up here doing this workshop to make vegans more active? Would I want you on vegan outreach talking to the Of course I would, of course I would. Animals would save themselves if they could, but they can't. They are helpless beings and they need us. If vegans do not speak up, who will? Don't listen to me, listen to your own heart. And look, they're free, and then they're taking their children away. How is that freedom? They're shot and stunned, and they're stabbed in the throat. Can I give you a hug? Yeah, of course, come I here. I really want to give you a hug, thank you. <laughs> Thanks so thank much. You for what you do. Thank you, appreciate that. Oh, both of us? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Now, cheers. I'll try. I've got to edit. I've got to edit 300 hours worth of footage.